Hola, como esta? This is the Black Mormon Reader. This is day number two. I am reading from First Levi chapters five and six. Chapter five. Sarah complains against Lehi. Both rejoice over the return of their sons. They offer sacrifices, the place of brass containing the writing of Moses and the prophets. They identify Lehi as a descendant of Joseph. Lehi prophesies concerning his seed and the preservation of his place. Sarah complains against Lehi. Chapter Verse 2, for she had supposed that we had perished in the wilderness, and she also had complained against my father, telling him that he was a visionary man, saying, Behold, thou hast led us from our land of inheritance, and my son are no more, and we perish in the wilderness. Lehi said to her, I know that I am a visionary man. Had I not seen the things of God in a vision, I should have not known the goodness of God, but would have perished in Jerusalem with my brother. Lehi and his three brothers return, and Sarah changes her tune. We read, and she spake, saying, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has commanded my husband to flee into the wilderness. Yea, I also know of a surety that the Lord has protected my sons and delivered them from the hands of Laban and given them power whereby they could accomplish the thing which the Lord hath commanded. Sarah is a doubting Thomas. Thus forth, thus forth we see in the Book of Mormon, only two good characters, Lehi and Nephi. Chapter 6. Nephi writes of the things of God. His purpose is to persuade men to come unto the God of Abraham and be saved. And in verse 4 we read, for the fullness of my intent is that I may persuade men to come unto the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and be saved. It is interesting to note at that time to come unto the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob meant for males, that's men and boys, a submission to circumcision. At that time, one could tell if you were a member of the community of the living God, the one God, Jehovah, simply by taking a look down. This is the Black Mormon Reader. Until next time, so long.